Hi, I'm Melissa. And I'm Grace. And I'm Grace. And today we're talking about comparing ourselves to friends and others. Am I? I don't know. Really <laughs> Why do we compare ourselves to others? Everyone's always looking for something more and something better, unfortunately. I think it's a massive part of being insecure about yourself. Especially as teenagers, like me and Grace in the past have compared ourselves to people with better skin than us or to Instagram models. I think it can also be kind of like a healthy competition. With friends even, you can kind of compare yourselves to each other, but I think it has negative and good effects as well. So what are those good things and what are those bad things? If you have competition or things that you want, you can use that in a competitive way to try and motivate, motivate yourself, yeah. But if it affects your mental health and the way you're going to live your life, then it's not good and it can just be taken too far. So how can these comparisons make us feel? It definitely brings your self-esteem down a lot. It can also make you feel jealous sometimes because you think, well, I want that, why have I not got that? I also think you can become way too invested in it and it can just take over your whole life. And what comparisons have you had? People you know, might look through our Instagrams and be like, oh, well, they look nice or whatever, but there is not one person in this world who doesn't have an insecurity. And I think there's been so many times where I've looked through supermodels' Instagrams, I'm like, well, how do they look like that? But you've got to remember that they didn't wake up like that. It's probably taken a whole team for them to take that photo. I think that's really important to remember that Instagram isn't real life. Remember that the person you probably look up to is feeling conscious about themselves as well, like us included. How can social media make these comparisons worse? Because it's such a different world and it's everywhere. You can't escape social media. You're literally sat there scrolling through a feed of people that appear to have a better life than you or appear to have nicer clothes than you or maybe they look the way you want to look. But people just post the highlights of their life and I think a lot of people find that really hard to kind of accept and get that concept round that that isn't real life. Yeah. I also think it's very important to take a break from social media. We do this quite a lot. Even 10 minutes of your day to just take a break from it and just relax and take yourself out of that situation. What can we do to help stop these negative comparisons? I think we should just all try and promote positivity, all sort of build each other up. If you're conscious about something, talk to people because they might also have an insecurity and it can be quite comforting. And there's so many people you can talk to about it. Like, I talk to Grace a lot of the time about yeah. things like this. You can talk to family, teachers, Childline. There's so many people you can talk to. And I definitely think when I was very insecure about my own skin, it was a massive relief to know that I wasn't the only one that was insecure about that particular thing. And what about on social media? So if you're scrolling through your feed, yeah, it can be good because it can sort of inspire you. But at the same time, if it's having a bad impact on your mental health, maybe you should consider unfollowing them or following people who can have a positive impact on you. You can also find different accounts that actually promote real life. It's really a different thing from these Instagram models that we see every day. And what happens if someone's making those negative comparisons towards you? A really hard part of social media is people kind of use it as a mask and they can do things that they would never do in real life. And I think we definitely experience this yeah. with like comments, for instance, on our YouTube. Um, for instance, someone like posted like a bad photo of you or something like that. It's definitely a mask for people sometimes. The reason they're probably doing this is because they have their own issues and they're not happy with themselves, so they do it to you to try and make themselves feel better, which is horrible. But remember how it makes you feel and don't do it to another person. If they're doing it in a malicious way and they're doing it on purpose to make you feel bad about yourself, that's bullying. And I think that's so hard for people to realise, especially if it's a friend of yours. Just don't to keep it in I definitely think speak to someone and try and get out of that friendship or tell that friend that what they're doing is wrong and that they're hurting you because they may not even realize it they just might think it's a funny joke but if you sit down with them and tell them the issue and if they don't realize and they don't think that is an issue then just distance yourself from them because if they're not making you happy then you need to go and find someone that is going to make you happy because there's no point putting yourself in such a negative mindset so comparisons can have you feeling low about yourself. What kind of things can you do to help boost your mood? If you've got a hobby that you're really good at or sports or something like that, 
Um, just do what you love and that will make you feel a lot more positive about yourself. For example, me and Grace, like, we do YouTube and that's what makes us happy. So if we're feeling bad about ourselves, we'd probably film a video and that'd make us feel really happy. So what piece of wisdom would you give to someone that is comparing themselves to others right now? I think it's really important to know that your differences is what makes you you. And if everyone looked the same, that would be very, very boring. Really boring. Thanks so much for coming. Thank you for having us. See you next time. Bye. Bye.